IPM is a way to farm as much with nature and with natural processes, but still use modern technologies to solve the worst problems and get a marketable commercial apple crop. The orchards in Red Tomatoes Eco Apple program are pioneers of Advanced Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, an approach that uses ecological methods like prevention, monitoring, beneficial insects and traps, and relies on chemical pesticides only as a last resort. Chris Hodges of Sunrise Orchards in Cornwall, Vermont, is an Eco Apple grower who dedicates much of her time to practicing IPM. We scout for every insect that is a pressure for us. Um, meaning we sample or, we, um, or we're actually out in the trees looking and recording what, our, what we're seeing. What we have here is um, an apple maggot fly trap and I also hang this apple, vial of apple essence nearby. And what that does is it attracts the apple maggot fly to the trap. Every two to three days I will pick off the flies and keep a tally. And then at, at the end of the week, I will um, come up with the average. And depending on that number, I decide whether to treat or not. We don't feel like we are being responsible growers without doing an IPM program. The EcoApple protocol sets strict production standards and provides third-party certification by the IPM Institute of North America. To keep up with the latest research on IPM, Red Tomato and the growers work with scientists at Cornell University, the University of Massachusetts, and the IPM Institute. Scientists like Dan Cooley, who's a plant pathologist at the University of Massachusetts, play a role that no one else in the program could play. They focus on how do we change the technology at the farm so that these growers can remain on the cutting edge. IPM is a way of uh, measuring, evaluating what's going on in a crop in the way of, of pests and damage in the environment, and then having more control over the quality of your fruit without spending a lot of, of extra money and causing a lot of extra pollution that you don't need to do. I think that one of the reasons we stay in farming and uh, is because we really love what we're doing, and part of that is IPM. It's about working with land and working with insects and trying to make it all work together. 